People are fighting back against a noisy neighbor. They say trains that pass through their neighborhood several times each hour are extremely loud and impacting their quality of life. New at 10, New Channel 5's Emily Luxon joins us with how they're hoping to change this. Emily. Well, yeah, Carrie, this is a, the area that we visited today, and you can see here this is the railroad. The train runs all the way through East Nashville, and in some cases that comes very close to homes. Now, people there want the Federal Railroad Administration to establish a so-called quiet zone. That would keep conductors from blowing the horn at designated crossings, and they hope with enough support they can make it happen. A lot has changed in this East Nashville neighborhood. You can see how close I live to the railroad track. I mean, it's right here. But there's one thing that has stayed the same. It will literally scare you to death. For 15 years, Troy Cunningham has battled his unwelcome neighbor. It's just a constant nuisance. His home is feeling the effects of multiple trains each hour. I've got nails in my house that have came out of the drywall. You know, it's shaking my house apart. That's why he and his neighbors want the Federal Railroad Administration to establish quiet zones at crossings near the neighborhood. Because of people that just generally care about their community, we feel that we have a voice now where we can address this issue. It's an approach that has worked before. Since 2014, a quiet zone has been in effect along 3rd Avenue North in Nashville. Metro Council member Erica Gilmore says it was a long process that required the city to work with the Federal Railroad Administration and CSX, and the railroad track had to meet certain requirements. The rate of a speed is very important, whether there are already arms out there on the track. So those things really make a difference, how much access the cars have uh, to the street and different entry points. As you go down that way. For people like Troy, it's an encouraging sign, and he hopes he and his neighbors will be enjoying some much needed peace and quiet soon. I'm just passionate about getting some change and having something done about it. A spokesperson from CSX Transportation said in a statement, communities interested in establishing quiet zones must apply to the FRA and implement the required additional safety mechanisms to be considered for a quiet zone designation. CSX will work with communities through the process to provide feedback regarding safety and other rail related concerns. Carrie. Thanks, Emily. People in East Nashville have a website explaining their concerns and are gathering signatures for a petition. If you would like to check it out, we have a link on newschannel5.com.